I'm a street artist, but I'm also a painter, which means that I like to work with the colors and to work with the space around the character. It's very important for me. So to have a space next to Hamilton, it's something absolutely incredible for yeah. me. So I prepared this stencil to make a tribute to Richard Hamilton. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2017. It's a tribute that I want to make to Richard. He is my preferred artist. He is the only artist I have bought I bought one of the, his pieces at Christie's in 1990 and I never buy uh, again uh, a piece from an, an artist. He is my preferred artist, you know. He worked in New York City in the uh, early uh, 80s. He was called the Shadow Man and he made beautiful and so gorgeous things, huge and beautiful. I'm very happy to make this tribute to him. It's very important for me and for my heart. So I met him in probably 95, maybe. Last time I saw him, he died maybe two weeks later. It never changed his last No, time. he was living he in, stayed a, living uh, in a, a little hotel. A little hotel. Yeah. He didn't have an apartment. He's a bohemian. He was taking drugs every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. But, you know, that's what gives the work all that anxiety, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like when you see that horse and the yeah, guy's yeah, hanging yeah, on yeah, the yeah, horse. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. He was hanging on to his life. To his life. Oh my God. Yeah. That looks incredible. Especially the blue as well. Well, also because it's got the white that's behind it, so yeah. it looks like a saint, you know? Yeah, that's really good. Very emotional. Very, very. That's the funny thing about stencil art, and that's what I think Andy Warhol was teaching with the multiples too. Like he would do 10 Marilyn Monroe's in a row, and each one's different. Excellent. Great, Laura. C'est chouette. <laughs> so detailed. Yeah. It's funny, he was going to leave without the signature, Richard was going to leave without the signature. Same. Now, yeah. Yeah, now it's official. Now. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Thank you. So we're here in uh, Nemo's premises over in Brooklyn. We have original uh, shadow figure, which I believe, in my view, this is probably Nemo Labrizzi, a few years ago. Could be. So tell, tell us a little bit more about this. How did this all this start? Why, why is there a shadow figure on your door? Oh, uh, I think it was right after Richard lost the place on Orchard Street. He was um, without a residence for a while. And uh, I think he was staying in a hotel and his outrageous hijinks got him kicked out of that hotel so we couldn't figure out the next move for him immediately and he ended up on my couch for a few days him and Gigi and after two or three days it's a pretty small apartment I was like look we need to figure something out so we, we found him a hotel and then he did this on his way out and as a sort of thank you Oh, wow. Let me crash. What, what, Look, what a gift. Lucky. Yeah, really. yeah, what a gift. Yeah. What and, a gift. You're then, lucky. Yeah. yeah. And then I felt it would just be all the more better. <laughs> no. <laughs> with the homage from Black Lerat on the other side, which thank you, sir, for making this. Okay, thank you. Th thank you for inviting me to do it. Yeah. You know, to me, it's so important and uh, I have the feeling that uh, I'm more close to Richard because we are on the, on the other side. He is on this side of the life. I am still here in the real life. Beautifully done. Yeah. Really okay. beautiful. Look, I think this is really good. The blue, the white is great. Thank cool. you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Merci. Right, so we're back at Cafe Havana. Black, thank you for your time and thank you so much for uh, providing us with this glory of Richard Hamilton. I mean, what can I say? It's, it's beautiful. I think you've captured his look and his kind of cheekiness. 
And it's that smirk, I think you captured it really well. It's on the same wall where one of the only standing shadow figures in New York still remains. Yeah. And I know you've seen in your lifetime, Naples and different parts of the world, lots of shadow figures. But for me, this is the only place ever oh, really? I've ever seen one. Ah. Because I only see them on paper okay. or on canvas, okay. typically. But never? No. Never, yeah, because, yeah, before my time. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen many standing shadow figures. I've seen only two, one in Naples and one in Paris, 1983. And how do you feel that you've got a work next to an original standing shadow? It's an honor and thank you uh, to you to permit me to do it because yeah. it's really an honor. In a way, it changed my life, you know, because when I saw his first shadow, I was making small rats at that time. And I decided to make uh, loud characters because of Hamilton. In the street, you have to be huge to be seen by the people.